Jim, what were your thoughts on the, the game tonight? Uh, I think, you know, we lost the game because of two really poor goals against, you know, from our own point of view. Um, far too high on both occasions. Uh, for as well as we have defended in recent weeks, you know, teams have always had to work hard for opportunities and for goals against us, but um, tonight was, was really disappointing. You know, we spoke about how Livingston play. We know they want to get the ball forward early. We know if you give them too much space in behind, that's where they're going to put it. Um, I have to say, I thought the first one, the penalty that was awarded, I felt that the initial contact was outside the box and then Lyndon Dykes takes himself into the box and then goes over. Um, probably looks worse with the fact that Connor goes down with him. Um, but the second goal right on, you know, right at the start of the second half is just criminal from our point of view. You know, we have kickoff, we put it in a good area. Uh, Livingston pick up the second ball like I thought they did for probably the opening 15, 20 minutes of that second half. And we're all over the place. It's as simple as that. And I've, you know, been very, very complimentary to the to the back line and to how we've defended uh, all season. But unfortunately tonight we um, you know we gifted Livingston two goals and that one at the start of the second half just kills you. How much does that frustrate you given like you mentioned we have kick off and less than twenty seconds later we're behind and we'd only make it difficult for ourselves going two 0 down at that point. Listen, Livingston are good at what they do and they defend very, very well. You know, they don't give you too many uh, you know cheap opportunities to go and score goals. They're, they're very, very good at what they do. They're aggressive all over the park. Um, they play percentage football, it's as simple as that. They get the ball forward early and they fight and scrap for every single ball. And I thought they'd done that very, very well tonight. But, um, you know, the goal, that even the goal that we get, you know, you think about the goal that we scored against Motherwell, it's a really well-worked goal. You know, 10, 12 passes. Tonight's the exact same. Good passage of play, you know, good football initially, great run from Obika, slid through, great finish. Um, you know, nobody gifts us the kind of goals that we've gifted Livingston tonight. And um, that's the most disappointing and the most frustrating part of the night for me. And, you know, I go back to that one right after half-time. You know, you know we're, we're still well in the game at 1-0. Even at 2-0, we're still well in the game. But, you know, just to, to give them that, that second goal just really knocked us for six, to be honest. I suppose from a, a positive perspective, we did score quite early on in the second half to get the, to reduce the deficit, and, and we did create chances as well. Listen, Jim, we, you know, I, I think we've been playing reasonably well of late, um, but you just can't gift teams of the stature of Livingston, you know, a two-goal head start. You just can't do it, and um, I'll never ever fault the players' effort or the commitment or anything like that because they're a great bunch to work with. But you know. We just find ourselves on the wrong end of another narrow defeat, you know, and we've had a number of draws, obviously, in the last 10 or 11 games. Um, and, you know, any time we lose a game, it's by the odd goal. And we have to try and find a way to turn that on its head and, and start winning ourselves by the odd goal. But, yeah, look, I mean, when we get back to 2-1, you feel as if you know, we're going to go and get the equaliser the way that we played. The boys put Livingston under a lot of pressure. We put some decent balls into good areas but the bottom line is we didn't work the Livingston goalkeeper enough you know we got in good areas but we just didn't make the right decision at, at key moments and um, you know it's, we just need to dust ourselves down and go again the weekend against Motherwell. Just in terms of subs Alex Kubiak had to come off is that partly to do with the fact he played 90 minutes the other night and he's not really and it's this is a midweek game he's not really played a lot of football recently Kel McAllister as well pleased to see him get a bit of game time. Yeah, listen, I would have loved to have left Alex on. Um, he looked a threat all night with his pace and his link-up play was excellent again tonight. But um, we just need to be really careful with some of the boys that we've brought in um, in the January window. You know, the two Irish boys played their last competitive game away back at the end of October. Conor McCarthy, unfortunately, has had to come in and play every minute of every game since. Jamie McGrath, we've been able to put in and out. And Alex Kubiak's the exact same. I would have loved him to give him another 90 minutes again tonight. But, you know, if we do that continuously with players who haven't played a lot of late, then we run the risk of of muscle injuries. And, um, you know, we had to just make a, a decision at that time to take him off because I certainly don't want to lose him 
for four or five weeks to, to a hamstring injury. So that was purely the decision. It was nothing tactical, nothing to do with his performance. It was quite simply just need to try and rest him and make sure he's ready to go again on Saturday. Really nice to see Ho that Lee Hodgson managed to make the game today after Saturday as well and play the full 90. Yeah, of course, we feared the worst initially with Hodge at the weekend uh, when he came off with his hamstring, but thankfully Kevin Bain, uh, the new physio, was able to work his magic with Hodge and uh, it wasn't the hamstring strain at all, it was more kind of a nerve related and Kevin was able to uh, to get him right for tonight, thankfully. And um, yeah, look, I mean, I'm, I'm gutted for the fans because again, they turned out and fantastic numbers and uh, you know we're really noisy all night long and uh, they stuck with the boys and they gave the boys a really good ovation at the end I think they appreciated their efforts uh, right up to the last minute but you know I go back to my original point you know we cannot give any team you know never mind a team as good as uh, Livingston a two goal head start and that's what's killed us tonight. And just finally, um, we head into two games away to Motherwell over the next week. How do you approach those? Well, we'll approach it the exact same way we approached the last game against Motherwell. Um, obviously, league first and foremost uh, on Saturday. We go there and try and get ourselves three points. Simple as that. And um, and then obviously, you know, that one will take care of itself. And then we'll look to Tuesday. But um, yeah, I mean, look, it's it's a busy, busy month. It's a a tough schedule for the boys, but we'll. Uh, help them recover as best we can tomorrow and the boys will be ready to go again on Saturday against Motherwell. Jim, thanks very much for your time. Thanks. Cheers, Jim.